Welcome to the TPC Desktop and Video Series. This video will introduce you to the TPC Desktop. We've loaded a survey called 0461 Intro onto the Traverse PC Desktop. We haven't opened any views yet, so we're looking at a blank desktop. But let's open the task view. Watch as I move the cursor over here to the right hand side where I've docked the task manager. I'm going to click on this little pin here and pin the manager, task manager, to the desktop. Now I have three other managers open, a Traverse manager, a Points manager, and a Drawings manager, and I've grouped them together in what's called a tabbed group. So each one has its own tab. These are four views inside Traverse PC. I'm going to open up the Drawings manager and double click Plat page one. When I do, Traverse PC opens that drawing in what's called the drawing view. Let's do the same thing with one of the traverses. Let's open the traverse manager and let's come down here and click on the lot 2 traverse. When I double click the lot 2 traverse, Traverse PC opens that traverse view for lot 2 and displays it on the desktop. Now I'm going to stop right here and highlight some of the different areas of the desktop. Let's look at the top of the desktop where we have the menu and the toolbars. This is part of what we call obvious navigation inside of Traverse PC. It's how I get around in the desktop and open the views that I'm interested in. On the right hand side, we saw earlier, I've docked some managers. The rest of the desktop is available for me to open, in this case, a drawing view and a Traverse view. This gives you a pretty good idea of how you're going to use Traverse PC and that you're going to open the views that you want to work with. Now, I want to maximize the area that I have to work with on the desktop, so I'm going to unpin those managers and just slide this drawing view over so I'm making maximum use of the desktop space that I have. If I had two monitors, I could easily stretch the desktop um, across the two monitors and I'd have a much larger area to work with. So let's pick a couple of these views and introduce you to how Traverse PC uses them. Let's put the cursor back over the Traverse Manager. Again, Traverse PC displays the traverses that are used in this survey. And you see that we've grouped them. So we have a group for the boundary traverses, a group for the control traverses, and a group for the lot traverses. We have additional traverses um, in other groups down below. And, and uh, this is a good example of how we use traverses within Traverse PC and why it has the name Traverse PC. A traverse is any group of points that belongs together, whether it's a boundary or a control loop that I ran or a lot that I'm defining. And I can name these wherever I want and group them however I want to. Earlier, I clicked on lot two and we opened lot two in what's called the traverse view. Let's come over here and take a look at that. Here's the traverse view for lot two. Let's open up the format for this view. I see that I can display any information that I want for this traverse just by typing in the letter that I want and the sequence that I want. So my display sequence starts with the letter B for bearing, H for horizontal distance, and so on. I can change this sequence and easily add additional information that I want to see, in this case an azimuth right next to the bearing, and when I click OK, the view changes and now displays a north azimuth column along with the other information. Let's open another view called the Closure View. I can go up to the Navigation Toolbar at the top of the desktop and choose Closure View there, but I can also open it here in the Traverse View by left-clicking the Tools menu and coming down to the Closure View command. Notice that F6 is the hotkey, so I can access the Closure View by pressing F6 in the Traverse View without accessing the Tools menu. I'm going to actually choose to open the Closure View by clicking on the button here in the toolbar at the top. The closure view is a snapshot of the current condition of the traverse. Notice the traverse summary at the top and the error summary uh, in the bottom of the closure view here. This is also the place where I would come and do any traverse adjustments. So I'm going to open the tools menu here and I can see that I have adjustments like balancing coordinates, balancing angles, applying curvature and refraction. Uh, notice there's an undo adjustments down here. So I can come in and experiment 
with different closure options till I find the one that I want. And if I, if I choose something that I don't like, I simply come back and undo it and start over. Okay. Much of this same information uh, here in the closure view, like relative error, linear error, the area of the traverse, can also be displayed in the traverse manager. So I don't have to open the closure view to see how big a lot is or to see how well um, a foundation traverse closes. Uh, I can have that same information in the Traverse Manager as well. Let's go ahead and close out the closure view by clicking on this red X here in the upper right hand corner. Close out the Traverse view and take a look now at the drawing view. I'm going to expand this so that it takes up the entire area of the desktop and I'm going to zoom in and use the mouse to just drag and pan and zoom in the area that I'm interested in. If I want, I can click on my mouse wheel and as I move away from the anchor that it creates, I can move around in my, my drawing real easily. Now Traverse PC can have any number of drawings and we saw some of them listed earlier in the Drawings Manager. So I can see that I can have as-built drawings, I can have recorded drawings that I've sent into the county, I can have preliminary drawings for each lot that I'm turning into the Planning Commission, and this is so typical of how Traverse PC works. Now, let's come back up to the top and use the obvious navigation to add a surface that uh, we recorded um, in the field. So let's come up here to our surfaces and just left click that. Traverse PC displays a surface manager for us. And I'm going to click on this box to the left of the surface called Original Ground. And Traverse PC is going to add that surface to the current drawing. We did the same thing with traverses earlier, simply by checking or tagging the traverses we want in the drawing. Finally, let's unpin the surface view so that it auto hides over on the right with the other managers. And let's go ahead and shrink back the drawing manager or the drawing view so that it just fits the size of the drawing that we've created here. This gives us a pretty good feel for how we use the Traverse PC desktop by opening the views that we want when we want to work with the, the part of the survey that we're interested in, whether it's a drawing or entering data in a traverse or checking the closure of a lot. We simply open the view that we want to work with at the, at the time.